Geogrit. Two versions here. Let's take a look really quick. Let's pull this one out to a nice slider box and looks like we have a cash band. So we'll set that right there. And I'm sure you can imagine, and it's not gonna be a surprise, we have a cash clip. So here are the two. They didn't come with tools, which is usually a staple of these kinds of wallets. And I like this red color, but it also comes in five other colors plus carbon fiber. Now you can see with both of these that they come with an external cash storage. This is an elastic band, and we actually have a clip. Notes folded twice in order to work in either of these. And of course, they all have an internal storage area. And that is uh, right from the top, comes down vertically instead of horizontally. That is one difference we're looking at here, uh, which is interesting to note. Capacity up to 12 cards for each of these. Obviously, they're built the same except for the clip or the strap and a very generous thumb push right here in the front to help get the cards out. Now, the only other that we've reviewed a vertical sandwich wallet is the Aviator, which is also vertical in its uh, presentation instead of horizontal. So let's get a look here. Measures 3.4 by 2.2 by 0.3, and they both weigh 45 grams or 1.8 ounces. The comparison is coming up, hang on. As I mentioned before, the company recommends up to 12 cards plus cash folded twice, which we have here in the back. Now, this is designed and made in the United States. The frame and body are made from a 6061 aluminum. The hardware, meaning all the screws that you see in here, are made from stainless steel. This, uh, the cash strap is lined with little silicone grippies, which uh, you can kind of see those dots right there. That is to help keep the cash from sliding out inadvertently. Put this down and take a look at the money clip. A nice spring in here. This uh, helps keep cash from wandering off and staying close to the wallet. The price on both of these is $95. For comparison, let's stick so that we have both money clips involved here. And we'll take a look at the difference between the GeoGrit and the Ridge. Now, the GeoGrit is made in the United States. The Ridge is made in China. So what's the winner? Well, I'm gonna go with GeoGrit because, because I really like the fact it's made in the US. Materials, very comparable. Cost is very comparable as well, $95 and $95. If we look at the thumb push, thumb push is very generous on the GeoGrit. All you have is a side meld here, you can get with your thumb in here, or your finger in here, for example, as you have this open, or you just push them out. Uh, again, this is horizontal, so it'd be this equivalent of cards coming out the top and cards coming out its top in a horizontal versus vertical configuration. So between the two thumb pushes, I'm gonna go with the GeoGrit. One thing I really like, and I'll bring this over here, is you can actually push all the cards out, get into a fanning environment here. You fan the cards you want, pull it out, put it back in. Uh, you do not have that capability with the ridge. Uh, the ridge comes out in a single stack. Let me show you real quick. As you can see, we've got the stack of cards. And what, uh, by way of usability here, if you push out cards, you really don't have a great instance of fanning. You can, as you squeeze this out, uh, getting cards in and out, will and can work from you. Uh, the best strategy is to put the most used cards on either side, because that's where you'll have a, a greater access there. But I'm still gonna go with the GeoGrit for access from the thumb push. So if we look at the receiving, and I'm gonna call them ridges at the top, if you look very carefully here, uh, we can see that we have these intake ridges right here, and they smooth in, basically they canter in, and that's what allows an easy reception of cards that can be pushed into the wallet. Uh, the ridge also has that. When we get the cards out here, you can see that it also has those receiving ridges right there. And so again, helps take care of bringing cards in more smoothly into the wallets. Both of them really are a winner in this case. Are the wallets serviceable? Well, you can take your time to take them apart through all of the screws. And yes, they are serviceable in all the straps, which do have a backstop for the cards. And so they are serviceable. So that is great for both of them. What about RFID protection? Well, they are full RFID protected. Uh, this ensures that the chip on your card is, is protected. The one caveat with the GeoGrit is you wanna make sure that your chip is not at the bottom, that it's really at the top. It's really due to this aluminum on both instances that gives you that protection from any kind of frequency that would interfere with your cards in the wallet. So the winner on that one, it's both. 
but I'm really going to give it to the Ridge because it's more complete and doesn't have this open spot. Now remember, metal wallets are made for front pocket, not the back pocket. You don't want to blow out your sciatica or anything like that. These are really front pocket. I'm, I'm just giving you advice. You can certainly wear them in the back if you like, but it's like having a deck of cards in your pocket. And the wallets both come with lifetime warranties. So, if you start checking the boxes, the GeoGrit could be a better option for you. Really, now on to the final score. For quality of five, very well built, price of three, very standard for the type of wallet that you're getting here. Features of three, performs well, usability of four. I think this vertical orientation functions better in my mind, and you've got a great thumb push. Uh, it's very generous, and perception of four. Company uh, continues to put out great products, and very well respected. That gives us a great score of four out of five. If you found this interesting, then look at this video next, and we'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.